Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. In today's video, I will be decorating my main Christmas tree in the living room. But these are the colors that I plan to use on the tree. So last year I used browns and golds with a little bit of silver. And so this year I wanted to switch it up a bit. So most of these ornaments I've had for years and then I have some that I'm bringing in new this year. You guys may remember the DIY ornaments that I put together a few weeks ago. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link it below so that you can check out how I made some of these ornaments. So I have feathers here, I have beads in this one, and then of course, dried baby's breath. And then of course, I DIY'd the flock in the ivory, and then I painted out some marbled ornaments which I shared in a previous video displayed in a bowl. Also, I wanted to point out to you guys some old ornaments that Hobby Lobby used to carry years ago. I think I had the box and it said these ornaments were from 2015. Um, and then I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. And I thought these snowflakes were beautiful. I have these disco balls that are very current right now, but mine are from probably the same year or time that I picked the Merry Christmas black ones. And so I have had these for some time and I love the little champagne type of uh, finish on them. Also, the other material will be like a crystal or some sort of glass. And I think that's just going to bring that um, luxe but elegant look to the tree. And then I have a few more ornaments here. Now, these ornaments are from Hobby Lobby, but from years ago. And then these I picked up last year from Home Goods, and they are glass as well. And so, yeah. I think it's going to be pretty. Okay guys, so this is the tree I will be using. I picked up this tree at the end of 2022 and I got it on sale at the end of the season from Walmart. Okay guys, so normally I like to put blinkers down the center of my tree, but the one that I normally use for my trees does not match the lighting on the living room tree so I won't be able to use this one so then I went and picked up some from Hobby Lobby but I didn't like the way they blinked so I thought let me check Target so I went to Target and I picked these up these were seven dollars which I have three strands running down the front of the tree and so I have like two to the side one in the middle and the same for the back. So I'm just going to now try and hide the cord. Okay guys, so I think it turned out pretty nice. It's just enough twinkle not to be annoying because we do sit in here and watch TV. So we don't want too much movement going on. All right, so let's go ahead and finish the tree. Now, if you are using ribbon, you would want to put your ribbon on before you put your ornaments on. Now, I am using ribbon, but the type of ribbon that I'm going to use, I can put on at the end. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start with my black ornaments first. And I'm going to start with the shiny black first. And I'm going to use the diamond pattern that I've shared with you guys before. And so I'm going to use this black, like for the top of my diamond. And then I'm going to put a black on the points, on each point on the side of the diamond, and then one at the bottom. So can you guys see the diamond pattern that I have formed? 
Okay, so next I'm going to continue that pattern until I get to the bottom. And so the bottom part of the first diamond is going to be the top. And so I'm going to put another bulb on the side and then on the other side and then one on the bottom forming another diamond. Okay, so I hope you can see the diamond pattern forming. And you can always adjust your diamond as you see fit. Okay, so I feel like the black is distributed pretty evenly. And that's the whole purpose of the diamond pattern. If you're happy with the placement of the bulbs, you can start your second color at this point. Okay, so next I'm going to start with the cream color and I'm going to start it in the middle of the first diamond. So I'm gonna place the cream kind of right here. Okay, so now you can see my first diamond in the cream color. So I feel like I have enough white on for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the silver. Now at this point, I'm not going to worry so much about the pattern. I'm just going to fill in where I see fit. Okay, so I have some of the silver in place. I think it's time to warm it up a little bit with some of these warmer tones. And then I'm going to work on the mantle and then I will share the tree. All right guys, so this is how everything turned out. I love the tree and all of the decor that I added to it. And the color palette is just exactly what I had in mind. I have my DIY ornaments. I have the tinsel that I added and then this beautiful snowflake from Hobby Lobby, the Merry Christmas sign, the feather balls, there's so much on the tree, but I love how it all came together. I even have a little surprise added to the tree. If you guys remember when I was in Bella B's last, they had a cutting board added to their Christmas tree. And so I wanted to do something similar, but of course, I couldn't add the cutting boards to this tree. And so I thought about these mirrors. I used these mirrors in the tree last year as ornaments. And so um, when I saw the cutting board idea or the breadboard idea, I thought about these mirrors. So I added them into the tree as well. And I have three of them.
Now over here on the mantle, I had not intended on this look for the mantle. I really had no idea what I was going to do. But when I was sharing with you guys um, the different ornaments that I was going to use, I really liked the way it was set up. So this was like a happy mistake and I really liked it. And I thought, why not go ahead and do something very similar? So I basically just added candlesticks to the already like ornament display. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you at my next video. Bye-bye.